Ever felt like a fraud at your own success, like you don't really deserve it? Today, we're diving into a psychological phenomenon that you might be more familiar with than you think. It's called imposter syndrome, and it's this sneaky little gremlin that whispers in your ear, telling you that all your accomplishments are down to luck, rather than your own ability or competence. Imposter syndrome is not picky. It doesn't care who you are or where you come from, it affects people from all walks of life. It's that constant doubting voice, undermining your achievements, making you feel like a fraud just waiting to be found out. It's the echo in your mind that insists your success is a fluke, a stroke of good fortune and nothing more. Imposter syndrome can be a silent success thief, but understanding it is the first step towards overcoming it. So let's dive in and unmask the imposter within. Imposter syndrome isn't a one-size-fits-all. It has various forms and manifests differently in each person. Now let's delve into the many faces of imposter syndrome. First off, we have the perfectionists. They set excessively high goals for themselves, and when they fail to reach those goals they experience major self-doubt and worry. For them, it's either perfect or it's a failure. There's no middle ground. Then, we have the so-called experts. These individuals feel the need to know every piece of information before they start a project and constantly seek out new certifications or training to boost their skills. They won't apply for a job if they don't meet all the criteria in the posting, and they might be hesitant to ask a question in class or at a meeting at work because they're afraid of looking stupid if they don't already know the answer. Next in line are the natural geniuses. These are the individuals who are used to skills coming easily and when they have to put in the effort, their self-confidence takes a hit. They are used to getting things right on the first try and when they don't, they feel shame and self-doubt. We also have the soloists, people who feel they have to accomplish tasks on their own. If they need to ask for help, they think that means they are a fraud. They're the classic lone wolves, and they find it very hard to work within a team. Lastly, there are the supermen and superwomen. They push themselves to work harder than those around them to prove that they're not imposters. They feel the need to succeed in all aspects of life, at work, as parents, as partners, and they may feel stressed when they are not accomplishing something. Each of these types affects people differently and can manifest in their behavior and thought processes. Recognizing which type resonates with you is the first step toward understanding how imposter syndrome is playing out in your life. Recognizing the type of imposter syndrome you're dealing with can help you create an effective strategy to combat it. But why should we care about imposter syndrome? What harm can it really do? Well, the answer to these questions might surprise you. Imposter syndrome is not a harmless quirk. It's a psychological pattern that can have profound impacts on several aspects of our lives. Let's start with mental health. Imposter syndrome adds an unnecessary layer of stress and anxiety to our daily lives. It's like carrying a heavy backpack filled with doubts and fears everywhere we go. This constant self-doubt can lead to burnout as we may find ourselves overworking to prove our worth, even when no one is questioning it. Moreover, the stress and anxiety caused by imposter syndrome can also lead to low self-esteem. If we're always questioning our accomplishments it becomes increasingly difficult to feel good about ourselves. We're stuck in a loop, feeling like we're not good enough, no matter how much we achieve. This can be detrimental to our overall happiness and well-being. Imposter syndrome doesn't only impact us on an individual level, but also affects our relationships. If we're constantly doubting our worth, it can cause tension and misunderstanding with our loved ones. We may push people away, out of fear of being found out, or we might undervalue the love and appreciation they show us because we don't believe we deserve it. In terms of our career growth, imposter syndrome can be a significant obstacle. It can prevent us from taking on new challenges or pursuing higher roles because we believe we're not capable, even when we're more than qualified. It can make us hesitant to voice our ideas or opinions, hindering our professional development. So, why should we care about imposter syndrome? Because it can rob us of our peace of mind, the quality of our relationships, and the progress in our careers. It's not just about the fear of being a fraud, it's about the impact of that fear on our lives. Imposter syndrome can rob you of the joy and fulfillment that comes with success. It's a battle worth fighting. So, how do we fight off this invisible enemy? How do we silence the imposter within? Well, it's time to roll up our sleeves and dive into some practical tips and strategies. First off, let's talk about acknowledging and talking about feelings of fraudulence. It's like that old saying, the first step toward solving a problem is recognizing there is one. It might feel uncomfortable at first, but opening up about your insecurities can be incredibly liberating. Next, 
let's talk about failure and mistake making. It's easy to view these as signs of incompetence, but they're actually crucial stepping stones on the path to success. So, develop a healthy response to failure. Instead of beating yourself up, ask, what can I learn from this? Turn each setback into a setup for a comeback. Now let's move on to visualizing success. Picture yourself achieving your goals. Feel the thrill of accomplishment. This mental exercise not only boosts your confidence but also trains your brain to recognize the possibilities of success. And remember, success isn't always about the big wins. Celebrate the small victories too, they add up. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek support. Reach out to mentors and therapists or even friends and family who understand what you're going through. They can provide invaluable perspective and advice. Overcoming imposter syndrome isn't a one-day affair, it's a journey. And like any journey, it has its ups and downs. It might feel like you're climbing a mountain, but every step you take is a step towards the summit, a step towards embracing your success. Remember, it's okay to feel unsure sometimes. It's okay to have moments of self-doubt. What's not okay is to let these moments define you. You are more than your doubts and fears. You are capable, you are competent, and you are deserving of every bit of your success. So keep going, keep striving, keep believing in yourself, because you're not an imposter, you're the real deal, and it's high time you started believing it. If you found this video helpful and empowering, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you're not only supporting our channel, but you're also ensuring that you never miss out on our latest videos, filled with insightful content just like this. It's free, it's easy, and it's just a click away. So, if you're ready to continue on this journey of self-discovery and growth, make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. Thank you for watching and remember you're not an imposter, you're the real deal. You are capable, competent, and deserving of every bit of your success. So keep going, keep striving, and keep believing in yourself. We're here to support you every step of the way.